Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me plus a scary story for you guys. So if you're into those types of videos, please keep on watching. Okay you guys, so if you guys can see I already have my eyebrows done and I have already applied my little base over here. The reason why I have already done this right now is because while I was already filming this video for you guys, it deleted. Like it completely deleted. This is why I'm like filming at this point right now with my brows and everything. For some reason, my memory card didn't want to work. It said that the memory card wasn't reading or something. That, keep in mind, has never happened to my camera and I had already started talking about what happened to me in this scary story. So it freaked me out right now. I'm home alone. <laughs> so let me go back to the story once again because that was not creepy. So I was out in Virginia because my boyfriend had to do one of these classes that like they give them when they're going up in rank and he had to go through that process so I went to Virginia with him. And so keep in mind they say that the military base is very 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 haunted like a lot of areas in the military base. So that's where we were staying but in a hotel room you guys. This night I didn't drink, he didn't drink, everything was normal. We were just going to bed. So we go to sleep and in the middle of the night, I don't even know at what time, you guys, which is kind of what creeps me out. I start to feel my boyfriend massage my foot. And keep in mind, my boyfriend loves to massage my feet and I love foot massages. So he knows that every time, like, I'm trying to fall asleep, he gives me foot massages and I fall asleep so fast because I have trouble sleeping. So I assumed that he got up to go to the restroom, you know, and he was massaging my feet while I was already asleep because I was falling asleep and so when this was happening you guys I noticed something I noticed that my boyfriend's foot was like his toes were touching my left foot like the back of my foot not my toes he was like at a weird angle where like his toes were like this on the back of my leg and that's when I realized I was like so I start kind of like freaking out a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, like, is he, how is he massaging my foot? My initial thought is like, okay, turn to your left. Normally, like you would if you were asleep, <laughs> pretend to be asleep. <laughs> and look to your left and see if he's asleep. You know, if he's next to you, then freak out. <laughs> so I do exactly that. Like I turn to the right and I'm over here like peeking and he's like, dead asleep snoring facing the left side like this and he's like <sighs> and I'm like when I see him you guys I swear like my whole body went numb if I get the chills right now my whole body went numb and my foot still being massaged like my foot like the hand is warm it feels like it's my boyfriend I'm just like and at this point I'm like freaking out because I'm like yeah that's not him so I have never done this so quick with my feet, you guys. I freaked out, like, so bad. Like, I didn't, I couldn't even talk. I was just frozen in that spot. And I didn't even wake him up from how scared I was. Like, I was like, I'm going to force myself to go to sleep. Like, I forced myself to go to sleep. I didn't wake him up or anything. You guys, like, I didn't even want to look. I didn't dare to open my eyes in the morning. I was so scared to wake up because he leaves early. My boyfriend leaves early to go and um, work out. So, he was gone. Like, he was gone when I, like, kind of woke up. But I didn't have my eyes open because I remembered what happened last night. It took me, like, a long time to be able to, like, uncover my face and see, like, the whole room, you know? Sorry, my makeup looks kind of crazy right now, you guys. That's one experience, you guys, that happened to me over there. And I told him about it. I was like, babe, like, you know, <laughs> last night I thought you were massaging my foot, but it wasn't you, and I freaked out, and like, blah, 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 right? I told him the whole story. He obviously does not believe in things like that fully. Like, he does know and understand that there are evil things out there. There are a lot of crazy things out there that happen every single day to people or that people see so he's like he's wise enough to understand you know these things happen sometimes even if they don't to him because he doesn't really believe in them or he tries to ignore them i told him about it and he believed me and everything but he was just like that's crazy you know like it kind of didn't like wrap around his head either he was like there has to be some type of explanation like are you sure you weren't dreaming blah 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 and i'm like no like I was awake. I turned around to see if you were awake. Like, I was freaking out. You don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, after that, being in that hotel room was just so different, you guys. Like, 
I swear, like, in the night, if I had to go to the restroom, I was holding it for dear life until the morning. <laughs> like, hell no, I was not going to wake up at 2 in the morning to go to the restroom. I'll be damned. I was I was so freaked out, you guys. Like, I, I, I was freaked out. That's not the only scary thing that happened on this adventure, which I still want to tell you guys the rest. There's two more things, actually, that happened. So if you're still watching, thank you so much for making it this far into the video. We're going to continue with the stories. Comment down below scary if you are at this point in the video, just so that I know that you're a real one and you're watching my videos all the way through. So comment scary at the bottom in the comments, please. It would mean a lot to me. But yeah, you guys, back to the stories. Okay, and this is kind of creepy to be talking about because I'm actually home alone right now. Let me focus on not feeling scared right now. <laughs> so we were on our road trip from Virginia all the way to California. Basically across the United States, you guys. That is a very, very long drive, I'll tell you. It's a very long drive. And we're driving. Everything was peachy until my smart ass decided to be like... Let's watch some scary stories. Let's listen to some scary stories like podcasts or something, you know, because we're on the road and what better way to get distracted on the road than to get like freaked out because you had to stay up, you know? Big mistake, you guys. At this point, we were already by like, I think it was New Mexico. We're listening to stories of people that played the board. I'm not going to say the name of that board, you guys, only because I'm extremely terrified of that thing. And out of nowhere, you guys, we hear like this in the back of the truck. And keep in mind, we are using a U-Haul, a U-Haul truck, and it has like the back, you know, like where you can put your stuff and everything. It has like that big square in the back, and it's empty. It's completely empty, you guys. Like we did not put anything in there because we were just using that truck to carry another car that we were transporting over here to California. So we look at each other. We're talking about like at one in the morning, you guys. One in the morning, we look at each other and we're like, and like I said, my boyfriend's not really that superstitious. So for him to be like, what was that? <laughs> you know, we, we were a little caught off guard. Automatically, you guys, we stopped the videos. I was like, you have to check what's back there. Like you have to check if, you know, there could be something that might have moved or, you know, like anything that was left in that truck that might have caused that noise. I know my makeup looks so crazy on here. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the lighting. So if I look too pale or if you guys see all these spots, it's just the light. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with my lighting, you guys, but just bear with me here. Ignore my makeup looking all weird in person. It does not look like that. Okay, anyways, back to the story. The next stop that we made, he gets off and he's so brave, you guys. This man, I swear to God. He gets off and he goes to check what caused that noise. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, I hope we don't freaking get killed right now in the middle of the road, you guys. Keep in mind, this it, it's like 1, 2 in the morning. It's dark and there's nobody around like we're in the middle of nowhere he checks and he's like oh there's like some wood on the floor that was left inside i was like but that that couldn't have knocked you know so we just decided to drop it and we continued through the road like nothing happened because we just wanted to try and think about the fact that try not to think about the fact that something knocked in the back and there was nothing back there and the wood could not have done that you know the wood was just sliding in the bottom that's another story the third one you guys actually happened here in my mom's house and this is crazy because it's the same thing that i felt out in virginia with my foot which freaked me out i stopped doing my makeup by the way because the rest i'm gonna like film with my phone so <laughs> anyways i was asleep and the same thing happened to me you guys like i felt this time i didn't feel the warmth of this i felt cold and i was like <laughs> like i put my feet into the blanket so quick i snuggled onto my boyfriend i was like babe babe because he stays over sometimes i was like babe babe wake up and he's like mm -hmm. <laughs> like what and i'm like it happened again the thing that happened in virginia and he's like oh don't pay attention and he just hugged me and i was like <laughs> like you guys i was literally struggling to fall asleep after that i couldn't explain it once again and i told him again in the morning and he's like i don't remember you waking me up and it's because it happens to him all the time when he's asleep he's like dead dead asleep you guys like this man will snore his life away in the night and 
he he will not know <laughs> so he he wakes up and he will talk to me or something but he won't remember doing it like like ever like unless it's an emergency like you'll literally like shoot up you know in the morning i explained the situation and he was like no way i'm like yeah i felt the same thing just cold this time and it was just so creepy and he had been having nightmares for like three days here uh, it's just so much going on you guys anyways that is all for this video let me know if you guys want to hear more stories because i have so many like so many stories i could even bring my dad on here to tell you guys some of his personal stories which are very 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 creepy i've heard them all and i swear i've had nightmares over his stories anyways you guys that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and for staying this far into the video i will be filming some more content for you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe like and leave a comment down below thank you guys bye